Morning columnist Dan Henninger previews his column on President Obama's Peter Pan pitch to young voters. Here's Dan. It has to be asked, why would anyone under the age of 25 vote for Barack Obama in November? The question occurs because Mr. Obama kicked off his re-election college tour last week, visiting campuses in Iowa, North Carolina, and Colorado. He's hoping to replicate the 66% youth vote total he got in 2008. Back then, he promised students hope and change. In 2012, he's offering cash, promising to protect the 3.4% interest rate on their college loans. They say among the young, hope springs eternal. Well, we're about to find out if that's true. The youth unemployment rate in the United States has hovered around 16%. Nearly everyone's heard stories about new college graduates living at home jobless. For many young people during the Obama presidency, the job market has bordered on, well, social Darwinism. Many students who did well in school either don't have a job or have taken one far below their skills and talents. So here's a suggestion for Mr. Obama's current college audiences. Spend the summer backpacking through Europe. Forget those fabulous old theme park facades in Italy, Spain, Britain, and France. Instead, chat up the youth vote there. The youth unemployment rate in Italy is 30%. In Spain, it's 50%. Last year, 300,000 graduates in Spain got out. They left the country. This is what happens when nations have persistently low economic growth. For the three years of the Obama presidency, the growth rate has been around 2%. So what did youth's 2008 vote for Mr. Obama get them? Well, one thought comes to mind. It's that provision in the Obama health care law that extends health insurance coverage to people living at home until they're 26. If Barack Obama wins another four years, you may need it. For The Wall Street Journal, I'm Dan Henninger.